Hi, I'm Christy from Stay With It, and welcome to That's Engineering. Today I'm talking with John, and John is a material handling systems engineer at Intel. So John, can you tell me what that means? What is it that you actually do for Intel? Uh, so what I do for Intel is I work on the automated system that transports the wafers throughout the factory while it's getting worked on, and the uh, tools that store the wafers while they're not being worked on. I work on both the installation and sustaining of these tools. Okay. So what are the skills that you sort of use in order to do that? Uh, a lot of time management. Um, I work with people uh, discussing things, making sure that things get scheduled appropriately, and also ensuring that the designs that we set out for the new installs all look right, that go with our specs, and make sure that the factory will be able to flow well with uh, um, these designs. Cool. So you started your education at the Air Force Academy. So can you tell me a little bit about what that was like, studying engineering there and having to juggle so many things? Yeah, it was really hard, I'm not going to lie. It was very challenging having to balance both academics, the military aspect of it, and, of course, the physical aspect of it. Uh, we were forced not only to maintain a good GPA in our academics, but we also had GPAs for our athletic ability and our military prowess. So um, having to balance all that was definitely hard, especially considering I was taking engineering, um, which in and of itself is very hard to do. And I decided to play hockey and just make it a little bit harder for myself. <laughs> so yeah, it was a challenge, but um, it taught me a lot about time management, how to uh, prioritize everything, get through it, and you know, it really prepared me going forward. Awesome. So after your second year at the Air Force Academy, you transferred to Carnegie Mellon to study mechanical engineering. Um, so what was your motivation for that decision? It, it was really a lot of things. Uh, one of the biggest was we were going through the budget crisis right at that time. And I was really worried about uh, the fact that we might not have uh, man-flown fighter pilots in the future. That's what they were uh, projecting for us. That and me being concerned that I wouldn't really have control over what my future would be. I understand being in the military, you sacrifice some of that, but not e uh, one of my goals going through life is you know things that you work towards in the end, will, you'll be able to achieve those goals that you're working towards. And I was really scared that something like that wouldn't be accomplished. So what advice would you give to students who might be in a similar position that you were in sort of considering uh, transferring schools or, or maybe changing their path? Well, what I would say is that there are two sides to college. One side, it's an investment for your future. It's a business decision to go to college and spend all this money, and for, so it's, for the future you can pay dividends. It's also an opportunity to grow and discover yourself. So if you're unhappy, and it looks like it might not be the best for your future, it's a good decision to transfer. But don't just transfer because you're homesick or you, know, you, you miss your girlfriend or something. It has to be both a business and a personal decision going forward. And it has to be for the betterment of yourself. So you made a pretty big change sort of in, your, in the path to your future. Um, how do you feel about that decision now? Are you excited for your future career as an engineer? I'm absolutely excited. I couldn't even imagine a future like this uh, a couple years ago when I was still at the Air Force Academy because I would have committed five to ten years to just being in the Air Force. And now I have so many opportunities ahead of me because I worked through college and finished through with an engineering degree and I got a great position at Intel and you know there's so much growth within the company as well as if I decide to go somewhere else, I'm a very marketable candidate. So being able and going through that was the best decision of my life. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to share your story with us. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you next time on That's Engineering.